So now we're going to start colonizing and trying to get as much production into Sevilla as possible. That way we can spawn global trade in 60 years, right? So right now we're about even with the English Channel. If we can get a monopoly on trade, we get a lot more. I suppose Panama is probably our best bet. Gives you more trade steering bonuses as well, which is just really nice to have in general. Continue to build these guys up here. More trade is good. Hopefully we don't get busted spying on the auto blob. That would be unfortunate. Sixty-three dev to get the institution. Of course. So I'm not going to take these until we get um, admin tech if I can avoid it. Well, we're probably going to have to take them a little bit. Issue is, is that unbalanced research is just very punishing. Causes you to gain... Um, it'll go up to 0.2 if we keep keep on it. So I'm trying to avoid it if I can. So I suppose we might as well get down here into Brazil. Is this all tropical? It is. So let's see down here. French. You French bastards. This is all tropical, really. The whole thing. Why would I want to colonize this? So here, this, this is still tropical, but it's a trade center. So we'll go for that one. And then we'll send our next one over here. Leon has pretender rebels. Next to the knaves, you can conquer them. How's the trade in Colonial Empire going? So far, so good. Yo, oh, yeah. We're going to definitely conquer the natives eventually. Our next colonist is going to go here as well. Some good dev. Yeah, 10 dev in this one, I think. 11, 10, 8. Not bad. So... Oof. I don't know. Yeah, if we can get up to 700 global tariffs or prestige. I'll take the prestige. Prestige is good. Yeah, we're going to end up maxing out on mana. So we'll probably do a little bit of dev just to avoid the unbalanced research a little bit more if we can. Give me the dev. <laughs> I want more. So this... Basically, if you want to double up, you take a look at it and you say... We could actually triple this up. Yeah, we totally can. Get up to 10. So, okay. So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to dev up. A couple of clicks over here. There we go. Eh, a little bit more. There you go. So we're going to let this tech max out get all the way up. And if we can triple it, we will. And I'll explain how it works as we're doing it so it'll make more sense to you guys so if you guys don't know what i'm talking about when i say double dip and triple dip you will in a moment i promise the reason why i'm not taking this i'm okay with losing a little bit of innovativeness mm. actually we can take both of them it's fine yeah the unbalanced research actually isn't it's it's offset by the 20 percent trade efficiency we get from being ahead on diplo so it's fine how much is it? it's 0. 0.2 now it goes up to 0. 0.1 it goes up 0. 0.1 per um, number over three you have. So yeah, I think we might be able to triple it, especially if we don't get caught spying. Is he on 11? If he goes up to... Oh, he is on 11. Repay the loan. Get more production, Dev. It's good. Confused. Can you repeat that? So our tech right now is 293 and we're at 100 and we're gaining 20% because we are on 7, he's on 11. There's a 4 difference in our techs. So all we need to do is get 293 times 3. So just call it 300 times 3. So we'll get up to 900 and maybe a little bit of extra change just to make sure that we're not... Um, 
not going to be missing anything. So I just hope our spy network does our guy doesn't get caught spying in the meantime. But to explain why what I mean when I say double dip or triple dip. Alex Scott or take Scotland's Royal Marriage. You see this this ahead of time or a neighbor bonus 20%. Super useful because basically it allows you to catch up if you're behind on tech. It's kind of a dumb modifier. I, I feel like it really shouldn't be as impactful as it is, but it is. So basically, if you're behind on tech, which we are, we're on admin tech seven, we're like with African minor nations right now. So we can get tech cheaper because of that. Uh, whenever you take tech, it updates this tick on this on the monthly tick. So right now, if I took a tech, it would not update. It would stay minus 20. If I took another tech, it would stay minus 20 unless you're ahead of time, in which case it would update. Uh, but we're going to wait and we're going to try, try. Three is tough. Stacks all the way up to minus 75. Yes, I remember, I think it was CU King did it a long time ago, where he got like, yeah, he was on Diplotech like five. And he took like all of them at one time. Uh, lose the 50 ducats, I don't mind. And so we're going to go up a little bit more just to make sure that we have a clear amount to get the, to get the tech. This is probably good. So if we take it, you see it doesn't update. Take it again, it still hasn't updated. Sadly, we didn't have enough though, but it's okay. So now it'll go up, see, 425. But that's okay. But now we have no more unbalanced research, so we're making more money. Axe of Uniformity is also pretty nice. Let's convert that province. It's been bothering me for a while. Strat of mine worked. Proudly out of a PU swarm. Cool, man. So our next idea group, probably, probably like a quantity, because I'm kind of sick of getting bullied. Uh, quantity is just all around a good idea group because it allows you to get stronger. So Scotland is at war with England, really. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can get a PU on them. They are my ally, so no reason to not get a royal marriage with them. And then a couple of other dudes over here. It's just good to check the screen every once in a while. I don't care about Mantua, they're an OPM. It's so far away. <laughs> Why did the cost go up? So the cost goes up if you're like on time it's not like so I don't actually know exactly how it works, but yeah. But since we're ahead on admin and diplo or mill and diplo, we can decide on what kind of tech we want. So uh, I don't care about tolerance, and then I'd rather get the missionary strength. So better conversions. Um. So let's get rid of the prestige one and replace you with uh, idea cost. And as far as groups go, trade is always a good one. Um, but I think until we get more colonies out, trade isn't going to be as useful. Quantity is just really good in general. I think quantity gives more global settler increase with expansion. What's the question? Cost of tech? Uh, well, we're caught up now. Now we're actually super green. Look. 10, 11, 11. And we went bankrupt. Right? It's like... We're ahead of this dude, and we went bankrupt. Yeah, so we dub we were going for the tri triple dip, but uh, it updated to minus 10 instead of minus 20. And um, I don't exactly know how that works. It has something... So whenever you're, like, catching up to, like, the current tech level, that's when it gets a little off. Uh, No, it's... The base cost is always the same, but your increase over time does go up. But no, the base cost is always uh, 600. Trade with expansion gives trade efficiency and steering, though. Let's go trade. Trade will be better for us. Get an extra merchant from it as well. Um, let's steer from the... Mm, we don't need to steer from the Cape. Eventually we will, but for now I don't think we need to. Let's steer from the Mississippi River. Now we'll steer more trade into here, which will then go through. So right now we're steering 718. 7.3, not bad. We're finish, finishing our colonies over here. And these guys, oh wow, that's 16 dev, not bad. Our colonies go so fast, man. It's crazy. 
Yeah, it's always 600. Settler increase for 10 years, 30. Not bad. I'll lose the prestige. This guy will be done next month. There we go. Better leave it be. There's no point. The tariff value... Tariffs are worthless. I always recommend just taking the mana if you have the opportunity to. Send a colonist over here. Mission fulfilled. Go westward, which gives us envoy travel time, ship trade power, and morale of armies. Cool. Thank you. Brazilian dominance gives us if we have 10. So one thing we'd been doing that I have stopped doing, let's get like a six stack over here. Um, go get a 10, get those guys over there. Uh, pretty sure they're just not. So let's detach these trade, these light transport ships. Are they, okay, they have automatic transport. Get you guys over here. Get a conquistador. Tariffs are a good way to have your colonies pissed at you. Yeah, tariffs are worthless. Oh no. Anyways. That air was poo poo, so I don't mind. And we're going to get a personal union from France if we die. Feels good, man. So, hunt for the seven cities. Just a fun way to uh, learn a little bit more about the south. Let's get these guys over here. And uh, mothball them as well, because I don't feel like paying for them. Yearly prestige is full price, though, so let's just go with the tax modifier. Ideally, we'd be able to get a trade efficiency guy. The improved relations means nothing for me, and global tariffs means nothing as well. Still means nothing. I'd rather not. Yep. I, I don't want this one as well. Free admin points sounds good. And free admin points sounds good. <laughs> Uh, I'll go with the blockade impact on siege. Stack some modifiers, right? God, I wish I was France. Only good thing that tariffs can do is making your colonies dirt poor at 100%. Yeah, it's just like... Yeah, it's uh, pretty worthless in my opinion. Let's state you up. That'll make it way quicker to convert. Lithuania, Beirut, yeah. Bunch of people in Europe. Nobody important. Nobody useful for us. So I want to get these light ships back into our trade fleet. Matter of fact... Actually, ooh. Let's upgrade these ships. We definitely need to do that. Have them go back to protecting trade in Sevilla whenever they're done. And then get a couple more light ships, because why not? And then as we are finishing up these colonies over here... So as Portuguese Brazil finishes, he'll... Um, a nation will form when we get five provinces is all you need to form a colonial nation. So when these two are done, we get a colonial nation. So I'm going to send our colonist over here to start uh, working through the Cote d'Ivoire. Because remember, these 4,000, we're going to get 50% um, of them assimilated, which is going to be really good. And we got not so sad a state as well. Free achievement. Super easy. As Portugal have a colony in Brazil and in Africa. Attacking France Castile when they're this strong? Um, we possibly could, but that's the beauty. So here's here's the beauty of playing Portugal. I don't care. If I wanted to, I could. But uh, it's just like... Sounds like a, a liability to me. <laughs> Let's steer from here since we have trade power. That'll steer more trade over here. Long-term investment. Always take the long-term investment. Let's also upgrade our centers of trade over here. Very important. I wonder, did those get downgraded when we went bankrupt? I might be. They might have. Or we might not have had them. State needs the money or the prestige or get a level three guy and prestige. Nice. Wait, no. What's the difference of this? Production efficiency or yearly prestige? Oh, I don't care. I'd rather have the money. I want the gold. Where the gold at? They downgrade? Ah, uh, I don't actually know if they were upgraded in the first place. I'll be honest. But now we're collecting 39 ducats. Look how rich we are. Trade ideas. Presidente. Thank you. Seven months with your prime sub. You legend. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. 
I appreciate you. Very much so. Hope you're having a good one, Presidente. Rest in peace, Tripoli. Gone for a bit, but apparently I came back at the right moment. Look at Tugert. That good old Ottoman alliance and subsidies. Over 40? Ooh, almost 40. Look how rich we are. Only took one nationwide bankruptcy. Easy game. Very easy. Can you look at the trade note of Sevilla? I want to see how much goods produced you are gaining. Yeah, so... Um, where are we at here? Um, actually, I'm, I'm always bad about this. Only 1%. It'll get better. Especially as we finish these, these guys over here. Integrate the natives. Give goods produced, please. I can lose some burger loyalty. I don't mind. Matter of fact, screw you in particular. This is my crown land now. More base production or base tax, please. I bless the rains down in Africa. West African coast gets 20% dev cost. Legendary. And uh, we finished another colony. There we go. So Portuguese Brazil will be founded when we finish this guy here. Caribas is not doing any colonization, even though they start with expansion. So we might need to subsidize him just a little bit, like three ducats a month or something like that. And I'll do that if it means that they will start colonizing on their own. Do they have any colonies out right now? They don't. Be cooler if they did. I think they can only colonize right next to themselves though. Like they can't do it over a sea tile. I might be wrong though. Settlement growth. He is. Ah, oh, so dumb. Oh, good thing they put this button in, though. I'm just glad that they put in the block settlement growth button. Look at this. This capital's 20 dev, though. 23 dev over here. So we're going to... Uh, I don't think it's worth to take Miltech this ahead of time. So, innovativeness is one of those things. I remember a while back, Arumba did the math, and he said three years is the key. This is five years. But with the neighbor bonus, I don't know. I'll just take it. It's fine. Um, and as far as this goes, I'm very keen on states general. One faith? You the man. Tor Lord of Sausages, you are. You're Spanish? You speak at a Spanish Presidente? So when it comes to these guys, maximum absolutism is always a good one. This one's trash. Don't don't choose it. This one's also trash. Don't ever choose this. States general is one that I prefer uh, because what it does is it allows you to elect. You get to choose your heir, basically. It makes you the um, Dutch Republic, only you're a monarchy. So this is the one that I tend to go with. Statists and all this stuff. Uh, sadly, we're going to lose this guy, but and he's good, actually. He's very good. We're going to lose him. So, oof. See, this is unfortunate. The first one is always the one that's like a little sketchy because depending on what you pick, you they either turn the statists in power, which is the Republicans, basically, the Republic, and then the monarchists are the orangists, which are the ones that allow you to maintain for life. So I would rather keep our guy for life. And we're ahead on admin. I want the monarchist in power, so I'll, I'll take him. It's fine. He's not better. He's not better, but uh, it's okay. And now we can still fish for personal unions, which is really good. Uh, whenever you're looking at pips here, it's 
Not as important. I tend to go with more offensive pips, but there is no like correct way to do it. Let's get rid of you. We don't need you anymore. Let's go with... No, national unrest doesn't matter. Let's just go with morale and just keep it there. Is this just Dutch government reform? It's the same thing, only it's better. It's funny, because it's actually better than the Dutch Republic, in my opinion. So as soon as this, this colony finishes, the, the month that it finishes. Wow, we just gained like 40 months, 40 that month. Okay, so these guys are done. Portuguese Brazil is done. Okay, before they do anything, before you do this, do not do this. Do not do settler growth. I will send you some subsidies. Okay, I'll send you three ducats a month. Please colonize. Please. Please colonize. Hey, we got a merchant from Caribbeus as well. Caribbeus. Caribbeus. There we go. They're colonizing. Good. They should be colonizing twice, but it doesn't look like they're going to. They should be colonizing twice, but they're not going to. These guys, I'm just going to yoink their subsidies because they're being worthless. It's fine. I'll just let England colonize the rest of this, and we'll just take it from them later. Why do we like the States General? Uh, you don't lose stability when your monarch dies, for one. You get to choose your monarch, so you get a two for two chances. Why do you block with settlement growth? Because I want them to colonize. That's the main reason. You get these guys over here. So now we're going to start colonizing and trying to get as much production into Sevilla as possible. That way we can spawn global trade in 60 years, right? So right now, we're about even with the English Channel. If we can get a monopoly on trade, we get a lot more. Uh, trade range, not super useful, but it's okay. Colonist is getting down there right now. Very good. And so now we're actually at the point now where we can afford to get go over the limit on these guys. So... Uh, nobody else is down on the Cape yet, which is really good for us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recall this guy, wait one day, and send him to the next province over. Uh, we're going to go over our limit, and it's going to cost us more money, but we get to go, we get more colonists than we actually even have. So like this guy here, recall, send him right here. Uh, sure. And then uh, make sure it's all in there. And there you go. Global settler increase, nice. So now, we're still making a little bit of money. If we wanted to go one more over, we could, but I think I'm going to hold off. Just keep the money. Um, let's also upgrade you and get you guys upgraded as well for more trade. I'll take the admin points. What do you do if... What do they do if you don't block it? They do this garbage where they promote growth in their capital and then they won't colonize. Yeah, I feel like States General just gives you better rulers, which means more mana in the long term, which is just better in general. Well, you block and they still do it, yeah. Good thing that the devs put that button in there. Just for us, right? Here we go. Let's call you back over here. Send you right there. Continue to dev it all up. Or not dev it, but to get all these provinces taken care of. And upgrade you, since you're a center of trade. We need two dev clicks in Porto. So let's do that real quick. Hi! I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. But it costs double. So putting in unfinished colonies in your trade company allows you to go over the limit? No, 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 no. Recalling the colonist allows you to go over the limit. Uh, but it costs a lot more. Yeah, like... Yeah. So you can see here right now our colonial maintenance is going to be ridiculous. It's only 20. But... Um, so let's recall you and send you over here instead. And then as he gets down here to Wida, you're going to see it'll go from 20 up to like 28 or something like that. 40. Yeah. See, now we're losing money because Wida costs 900%. 
Yeah, it increases exponentially, like you said. So this one, this one will be done soon. Then we'll just keep it at that for now. Strengthen the status. See, we don't want the status in charge. So we're going to not do that. We want to strengthen the monarchist. So I'll even take a negative event if it lets us keep the monarchists in power. Trade efficiency is king. We make all of our money from trade for the most part. We make 63 ducats a month and 45 of it is from trade. So anything we can do to boost up our trade income, we want to. So, yes. It's pretty good, though. See how many colonies? We have five active or six active colonies, though, and we're still making money, right? Very, very strong. Uh-huh. And we're very close to getting another merchant over here as well. So if you have... 50% of the trade power in a trade with your trade company. See, like it also increases goods produced, which is really good. Um, but upgrade you. If we get up to 50, we get an extra merchant from here. And it might, it's not quite. So let's also build a couple of these investments, which increases the trade power over here as well. Uh, let's go with land me. Let's stick with the level one guy. I don't mind. Mind blown. Learned the other day that production efficiency equals more settler chance. Uh, yeah, actually, I remember Arumba showed something like that a long time ago as well. I'll let one more of these guys go through here. And so these are the two um, investments that I always do. Is this 400 one, the company depot, which gives you trade power per province and local production efficiency. And then this one here, which gives you local production efficiency and then goods produced. Basically makes it more uh, wealth go th or more wealth produced. Um, and now, if we click on this, it should put us over 55. No, it's super close. To click the button there to boost trade power for the extra merchant if you're close. Yes, it is. But it has to be over 51%. So if it's not over 51%, then there's no point, right? So as we get closer to finishing this one out, so we'll recall you and I'll send you guys over like here. And you can also see in these provinces, uh, where are we at here? Goods produced. So you can see assimilated natives plus 0.4 goods produced. That's pretty good. That increases the production or the income of it quite a bit from that province in the long term. Being ahead on admin points. We definitely want to get ahead on Diplo if we can if we can. So let's uh let's go for that for our next one. More money, more colonies. The force are our strength. Yes, please. But this is the beauty of U4, man. We're playing a colony. We're based out of Portugal in the Europe. I don't care. I'm doing everything in the new world, baby, in the old world. Which native policy is best? Well, this is best if you want it to be quick. This is best if you want to be brain dead, and this is best if you um, want goods produced. Um, it, I, I would argue that native trading is probably the best, but that's just because there's other policies that allow you that have synergy with it. So like this gives us 50% uh, native assimilation, and then this one gives us another 50% native assimilation right here. So we get goods produced. So take a look here. We have 500 natives. So we're going to Whenever we get them assimilated, we're going to get plus 0.5 goods produced in that province, which is huge. That's a lot. Always use the minus one ferocity and so you don't feel like to manage it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's great if you want to just like chill, just not worry. All right, almost done with a couple of these guys. So let's get the colonist on his on his merry way. And then as it finishes, we might lose some money for a couple of months, but it's not a big deal. So I'm going to not take this yet. We're going to take this tech. That way we can be ahead on tech, which will give us uh, more trade efficiency, which is definitely the way we want it to be. There we go. These colonies are finishing up as well. So let's recall you and send you down here. Excellent. As they finish up. Oh, we, did we take a loan out? I did. Took a loan out. That's funny. 
Losing 32 ducats a month, chat. Is that an E4 map on the wall? It is. Well, it's a real map, but it's a map of the world of Europe in 1444. Cool, it's off of uh, eBay. There we go. We finished two colonies, so that means we can get another one started if we wanted to. So let's recall our most done one. Call you from here and send you guys down here. That's actually a trade center there. So I'm going to send one down here instead. And that means we're going to get an extra merchant here as soon as we add these provinces. Oh, it's super close. It has to be. 45%. So as soon as we get to this province here with you, add it to the trade company. That should put us over the limit. There we go. So basically this button allows you to get a little bit of extra trade power for inflation, but in my opinion, it's worth it if you have something that's decreasing your inflation. We're gaining very little, so I don't care. And we're ahead on admin. So matter of fact, I'm gonna buy it down. Who cares? Not my problem, right? Keep our stability. I don't feel like losing stability. We're done with another colony and we have an extra merchant. So where do we steer from? That's the question. Where do we steer from? Where do we steer from? Has a map. So this is from you for. <laughs> hey man, I stare at maps all day. Why not stare at more maps, right? So. Okay. I guess we just steer from the Cape. This isn't the best right now, but uh, it'll give us trade steering advantages in a bit. Take this tech, gives us 20% trade efficiency. So take a look at this, 42 is gonna go up to like 46, 47. 48 and a half. Do you ever swap idea groups like game? Totally, oh yeah. I uh, basically, if I take exploration or expansion, I'll drop it late game. Push from Congo. What do you mean push from Congo? Let's pay off that loan as well. You can get an extra colonist. Here. Let's recall you. And let's start getting over here. So this is actually really good because if we can get all these islands down here, it means that we can block people from getting over into the spice islands and we'll get first dibs, which is really what we want, honestly. So let's take all of it. Trade power. Um... Yeah, that's actually probably a good, a good call. I forgot that we actually could see it. So instead of the cape, let's do that there. And then we're steering 778. Okay, good call. Definitely a good call. And remember, guys, do your investments. It's important. So take a look at your ones that are done here. These two are done. And as we get the money to do it, which is taking some time, admittedly, because we're, you know, wasting a ton of money on our colonists. Let's also get this province over here as well. French Brazil is cursed. French Antarctic. Antarctic. <laughs> Changed my life. Production efficiency investment is bro bonkers. Oh, I know. It really is. This guy right here. I like to do this one to get the trade first, but then I do the production. So I do both, ideally, but... The homie Amazon, the homies, boys, lads, we got the homies here. More production, more manpower, please. Give manpower, please. Also raises our force limit, which is good. I'll lose the, I'll lose the population. I don't care. Hey, yeah, thank you, Quag. I like that. That's good. Yeah, if you guys want that map. There we go. It was too long earlier. <laughs> I like that. It's a good call. Let's go with... Um, this dude half off? Really? No, no, he's not. Are these guys both half off? Nope. I have no idea what's going on over here. Let's go with the land maintenance modifier. No, we're ahead on tech anyways. We're good. 
Nice. I guess I lose my level one guy who I was just talking about replacing. Morale of armies is good. Quag being good mod. Yes, everybody, follow the VODs channel as well. The VODs channel is great. And we're trying to get it monetized. We're pushing for a thousand followers. So if you guys find it, find the time, drop a subscribe over there. It's super helpful. Appreciate you, boys. So yeah, we're colonizing all kinds. All kinds. Look at this. Now we just need to make our way over into uh, into the Spice Islands. Merch idea? Sell maps to your most popular campaigns on YouTube? Oh my gosh. That would be cool. But, um... Boston, nice. Possibly, actually. I kind of like that, but who would make the maps? Because it would have to be... A, it's That's art, you know? Somebody would have to, to make that. So the nice thing about uh, this is that we're Protestant, so we'll actually get the printing press. Colony war with England? When? Eventually. Eventually, Alan. I was letting him finish this up. So realistically, we could do it whenever we feel like it. Switzerland would join. Ooh, Scotland would not join me. So he actually took land from Scotland in that war. That's unfortunate, man. Fighting in another war and in debt. Oh, France is just in a casual 3,000 ducats, and he's integrating this guy. That's nuts, man. How cursed is that? Put them on shirts as an image with series name underneath it. Renaissance ticking up over here as well. It's kind of funny. Nice. So I'm going to let a couple of these finish up before we send out more men because we definitely need to uh, get some of these investments built up. As we finish up these colonies, we're going to get a lot more money coming in a month. Where to put the edicts for 50% trade power in European provinces? Only in your capital for the most part. Um, yeah, in my opinion, it's it's not worth it unless it's your capital because your capital you get half off. So I don't ever use it in anything other than my capital. Did them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it looks like they, they did. This was Denmark. Norwegian. Or Norway, I mean. But then Denmark annexed them. And it looks like Sweden declared independence and is now getting clapped. Now fish is worthless. Feels bad, man. And we're making 50 ducats a month. See, look at this. It's been 10 years, and we've increased our trade by like 10, and his hasn't gone up at all. It was 29 last we looked. It's really good. Construction cost yearly absolutism. Really? Okay, cool. Well, that's nice. So now we're making 53. It's going to go up. Oh, wait. Maybe it already went up to 53. Pretty good, though, right? So Russia looking for a personal union. I've seen that they've been there for a minute. Let's improve relations with them, just in case. Burgundy. Really? Really? Burgundy is now a member of the HRE. Okay. All right. That is not something you see every day. So I'm going to keep our colonists where they're at for now. We have one that's done, so I will get him moving down uh, down here. Oh, looks like Spain's over here. Castile. Doing some colonizing. Get a trade guy if we can. Add all these to the trade company there. Send one of these guys down here. Rebels. Nani? Protestant zealots? I don't care. What are they going to do? Enforce religion on them? You know? Campaign looking nice for sure. Thanks, Rory. How you doing, buddy? Rory, can you DM me um, about Minecraft Monday if you're still interested? Because I, I want to do it, but I want to make sure that I have people that are interested before I try to host it. Is 
So all this trade, oh my gosh. I don't care about the manpower. So what we're doing is we're just trying to maximize how much production we have steering out of here. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Tick. Togird. Eh? Nani? What is that? Let's use it. Diplo rep. Cool, man. Austria has a disputed succession now. He's not rival to France anymore. That's pretty cool. So, if anybody's wondering why I have Spy Network on the Ottomans, it's just so I can get uh, cheaper tech from them. If they're ahead of me on tech, I get discounts, but they're not ahead of me right now, so they don't get discounts. Since production is tied to trade, what exactly influences production income and respective trade income? It's a bit confusing because, yeah, so... Okay, so my understanding of it is, it says this current, current price is 2. So, with goods produced of 1.2, it adds... 2 times 1.21 ducats to the trade node, which can then be steered through into my home node. So, and that's for each province. So slaves are worth 3. With the production goods produced of 1.5, it's 3 times 1.5 that gets added into the trade node and steered into us. Been pretty chill. Been lurking for a while. Had to get grab a late lunch. Yeah, I'm hungry right now. So does that answer your question, Ozzy? Uh, Mr. Slobmer. Slobmer, finish your job. It's time for some good E4 stream. Cheers, man. We're going to be wrapping it up pretty soon. I'm pretty tired today. Posture check as well. Yes, sir. Everybody sit up straight. And Bernston. No, you can use it every stream. I don't mind, man. Bernston, I think you're a great guy. I appreciate your presence, and I think that you're just... Swell, my friend. How's that? Good? So I've got a colonist to spare. Let's get him over here. Gonna need to start making our way over towards... Um... Ottomans are considering attacking Hungary. Very cool. Understandable. Then production income is somehow another source of money. Yes. So production... So production efficiency, so this this production income there, uh, over here, is, this is, produ so production is different. So production and goods produced is different. Production is like a flat amount of money that you get from the province. But production is something that produces two sources of income. So you get production, which is just income, and then goods produced, which is that production that goes into trade, which increases the value of a trade node, which can be steered into a home node. So now we're up to 37 versus 29. So you can see we're snowballing and our income is only gonna keep going up faster and faster and faster. It's gonna keep keep going up, 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 up. It's gonna keep going up. Portuguese Congo, nice. Yeah, and it's just gonna continue to keep going up. So let's recall these two guys. And get them, oop, get these guys over here and over here. Yeah, for sure. The best source of money outside of trade. Well, yeah, I, was, I, I would, I think you could argue that it is trade, right? All right, our conquistador died. So let's get you guys back to doing that. Fine production often outpaces late game trade, unless I have a good control of a lot of trade nodes. Yeah. Swimming in that money like Scrooge McDuck. How many colonies are we working on right now? We have five right now. Three with colonies at, or colonists active. When are we ending the stream? Gotta go soon. Wanna know if I can stay to the end? Uh, probably another 15 minutes or so. Mana. I like mana. So let's also increase you guys as well. These two guys, like I said, increases income. So take a look at that. 14.19, 14.8. I spent 800 ducats, and we get a permanent 0.8 being steered into our home node. I'm over my colony by over my colony limit by two. We're spending 20 ducats a month on colonial maintenance. I can actually turn my army maintenance off as well. Well, actually, I don't want to, just in case this uh, the stack running around the Amazon gets 
gets bonked. How many colonies? Oh, I already read that. Derp. Do I still have the trade power boost for the merchant? Uh, trade power boost on for the merchant. I'm not sure which one you mean. So I think actually over here, now that you mention it, I had that one on hostile trading. Let's actually put Fez in the trade company as well. Bring a little bit of money up there, yeah? Do the colony, do the colonies working on without an actual active colonist take longer? A little bit, yeah. They don't get the... So this guy, it says 0% chance of new settlers, but you get this flat rate. Whereas this guy here gets the flat rate plus an extra 26.6% .6 chance of getting extra settlers. Inflation for trade power button. Oh, yes. We don't need this anymore. Good call. No reason to get inflation. Fez isn't in the Sevilla trade note. Yeah, it's in Safi. So it boosts our trade power over here a little bit. See? When you have, you know, governing cap to spare, there's no reason to not do it, right? I love changing the religion of colonial regions. More border gore. Do I know if minimal autonomy in territories affects trade companies? It does. If you can get some nutty value from provinces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can, uh, which one is it? Is it this guy here? This one right here. So you can see our trade companies. So you get a little bit more tax production efficiency and manpower. 10% more. So then you max stack that with economic hegemon, which gives you another 20%. So it's 30%. So your maximum, or maximum, uh, whatchamacallit, in these in trade companies is only 70 or seven, 60, which is really strong. Thought you clicked the Sevilla node to include Fez? Oh, no, no, no. You're good. I clicked the actual province itself. Let's just click that. I don't care about that one. Get 50% more from trade companies that way? Mm, four, well, 30% because it, the max, the regular is 90. It's usually 90. So this brings it down to 80 with our fully expansionist and then another 20 from full economic hegemon, which brings it down to 60, which means you would get 30% more manpower, tax, and 15% um, more production efficiency. 40% min autonomy, you get insane manpower values of playing as USA. Yeah, it's it's really strong. Manpower is the main thing that you want to get from it, in my opinion. Continue yoinking crown land. Laney's peasants. Look at this, we haven't had any peasants, boys. We're doing fine. We're doing fine, we're cool. We're just chilling, you know? Just chilling. So another one you want to do is you want to put this guy in here, the trade steering plus 50%. It increases the amount of trade that you steer through the node. Uh, I'm not going to build them right now. I'd rather build the production efficiency guys. So check this out. 0.88 is going in, but it's going to go up to 1. Hey, not bad. So now we have 40 compared to 32. And it's only been 16 years. We were at 24, I think, last time. I always forget, but the building that gives army traditions are great too. I don't like those. I'd rather do this one for the trade steering. You're talking about this guy here. Trade value modifier is not bad. Eh, maybe the trade value modifier actually might be better. I don't know. Trade trade steering is one that I'm really big on as well. Because like playing, playing as a nation like Portugal, obviously, we're really putting a lot of emphasis on trade steering. I'm also going to make sure I get this Diplotech as well. Three mercantilism or diplo mana. I'll take the diplo mana. Mercantilism is nice, but uh, I want to finish this idea group while also staying ahead on tech. So we just lost a big source of our income. I like the when you could build them all. Agreed. Never forget, Protestant League is here. I don't care about it. I'm just gonna not get involved. So ideally what happens is is England gets attacked in it. <laughs> and we can uh, jump in 
or England gets beat up in it, and I can just go s seize his colonies. Forget the Protestant button for idea cost? Nope, we have that one. Right here. Try to be good about it. Upgrade our cannons. Not gonna take this. Want this instead. Being ahead on tech, 13 years ahead, which means 13 years of 20% extra trade efficiency. It's really strong. Basically means 20% more trade collected in our home node right here. So it's at 52. Mm. Yeah. So it's at 52, 60. We just gain an extra eight ducats a month for just being ahead on tech. Super strong. So let's recall you and just continue to, uh, you know, conga line it. Good news, yes. Call you and send you here instead. Make sure we're sending you guys all over here. What is the Defender of the Faith level right now? You get an annoying achievement right now. Oh, right, you're talking about that Defender of the Faith if it's level 5. Yeah, I don't care too much. I, I can't be bothered about that, you know? Dipple points, please. I could. If I were going to do that, that would be like the point of an achievement in my mind. And point of the run in my mind. Nice. Spend the money. getting all these guys built up so see look England is starting to steer a little bit of trade here this is nice though England is just giving me free reign over the Caribbean nice Caribbean's pretty jacked up honestly just take the mana hey the little thief I'm doing wonderful how are you doing buddy Hope you're having a good day. Have some level one centers in Africa? Yeah, a couple of them. Suppose it's a good idea to upgrade them just so they don't uh, get scaled out later. There we go. There we go, finishing up our colonies, baby. This one over here is a level one center of trade as well. Unfortunately, a couple of random provinces aren't discovered. Like a couple of these islands over here. It looks like France is down here. Georgia is not colonized. And it looks like Fernando Po is still not colonized. Let's recall you. Let's start getting these islands over here. Call you. Get this island over here. Make sure these are all in the trade company. Make sure these are all in the trade company. And there we go. So now take a look at our trade. It's up to 40. I think it dropped a little bit. Very good. Time to conquer Kilwa. Oh yeah. It is. We're going to have to beat up on him. Uh, these guys tend to blob up and be a bit of a pain later on in the game, but we'll work on it. I think I'm going to actually call stream here for now today, though. I'm uh, pretty whooped, honestly. I'm tired. We got a lot of colonization done today, and that's kind of the main gist of what a Portugal game is supposed to look like. Um, so over here, these guys are doing a little bit of colonization. These guys are doing not doing anything, but, uh, you know, we'll see how... Things are looking over here. They're up to 24 dev, so good thing they've been doing this. They've gotten one dev from uh, using their colonists for that. Very good. Thanks, that mask. I appreciate you, buddy. So we're going to go on a raiding party and go see what's going on over on somebody else's stream. Who do we want to go see? Let's go say hi to... Zlevik. My man, Zlevik. So everybody, make sure you send him some Chewy Hypes in chat. Habibi next time. Habibi's also my boy. Check out the VODs channel. Make sure you give it a uh, subscribe on YouTube. And uh, 
I will see you guys back here tomorrow at 12 Central Time, 1700 Central European. We're going to be doing some multiplayer on Anbanar. So I'll talk to you guys then, and I will see you guys then. I appreciate you all for hanging out. See you later, Ari. Take care.